Hi there, it's Sandy Alnock with a very quick little video today comparing a new book that I just bought. Not this one. This is my Bible Journaling Made Simple workbook. And it has lines for journaling. It has pictures in it you can color and prompts and those sorts of things in it. And of course, since Amazon is a thing, they recommended that I get this one. And it was a Bible journaling notebook. So why not get it, right? And then I got it and I was like, oh, it's literally a notebook. <laughs> it has full lines on one page, half of the other page covered with lines, and then one column. The paper, eh, it's kind of like copier paper-ish. And you might be able to do some stuff on it, but I'm going to use it more for written journaling, which is one of the ways that I process things with the Lord. There's something different that happens when I write the words down on a piece of paper versus when I'm praying in in words in my head or out of my mouth because they're on the paper there's there's just something about seeing them in writing and god starts to speak to me through that i start hearing him talk through the words that he puts in my hand as i do this kind of stream of consciousness journaling and in this particular instance, I'm kind of in a rough place. Uh, don't worry, there's nothing major, no illness, no craziness like that. It's just stuff, you know, stuff just gets you down. And stuff lately is just worth getting down over. There's just a lot of things going on. And I just wanted to lay all that before the Lord. So I just started writing out what my issues were, what are the things that I, I need his help with. And was finding as I wrote that he was answering in my words that I was writing. And it was really helpful to me to process it in that way. And what I started coming up with image-wise was that I was feeling like, like I've been backed up onto the edge of a cliff. And this cliff that I'm drawing is like this big, heavy outcropping with roots hanging down from it. And there's trees encroaching almost all the way out to the edge. And what God was telling me was that he is out there on that edge with me. He is still my light. He's still my salvation. He's still my help in times of need. And no matter what else is going on, no matter how dangerous the cliff is, no matter how deep and nasty and fearful a forest, no matter what else is going on, He's still with me. And sometimes that simple truth escapes me. I don't know what it is. I had a pastor once who used to say, we leak. And I feel like that happens sometimes. The things that I know just leak out of my head and I totally forget them and need to relearn them. And this was one of those moments when he just told me, I'm with you. You're not out here on this edge alone. And I thought that might be a valuable thing to share with you, that some of you might be in that hard place. I recommend getting a book to journal in, whatever kind of book it is, just a regular notebook, and just start to write, write and write and write and write, pages and pages, and then reread it and see what God speaks through it. What does he say to you? And I think you'll be surprised at the amount of encouragement you get from that. And there is my finished pen and ink drawing that's now in my little book. And I'm going to be doing a lot of journaling, I think, in this book. That was a very healing process to go through. I also want to let you know I've been pondering whether or not I should take a few weeks off from making these Bible journaling videos. So I may take a little break. I feel like I've been dry for great ideas to share with you. So we'll see whether that happens or not. But if I disappear for a while, don't worry. I'm not sick. There's nothing major. Just regrouping with the Lord. All right. God bless you. Talk to you soon.